Hi guys, it's me Ty, and I'm back with just a quick unboxing to show off my um, Napa Japan candy order. And for those who don't know what Napa Japan is, I admit this is my first time ordering from them, but Napa Japan sells all kinds of Japanese snacks and just candies and things like that. And so, like I said, it's NapaJapan.com. Um, I've heard about them for a while, so I wanted to try them out finally, and I finally ordered some candies. Just a small order. As we can see, the box is not that big. And uh, as you can see here, the box is pretty plain. No notice for their shop, just like the Japanese custom stickers and where my address was. As you can see, I already kind of slid open the tape since I wanted to take my address off the front. But yeah, just overall a plain box. And let's get into it. Now these did come from Japan, like I said, they sell snacks. Um, I can't show you this, but it's just like, it has my name on it and stuff, but here's the order slip, so I guess it's like a home business. It's just a little piece of cutout paper. Um, first thing I ordered are these Meiji pear gummies. Um, move this box. You can see the pear here and the company name Meiji up top. This package is very small, not very small, but pretty small. Um, it didn't cost that much, so I don't really care about the price. And if you know anything about Japanese goods, the food items does come in smaller sizes, which is not disappointing. I mean, I've been to Japan before. I don't know why I'm surprised. Um, but yeah, they're just smaller than what we would find in our American stores. And it's a cute little sun up top. Like I said, this is Meiji Like I said, flavor. so this is like a soft gummy flavor. I mean, soft gummy with pear flavoring. Now, let me just try this. Um. Okay, open the top. Oh, and they're cute. They like little, well, not gummy bears because they're not bear shaped, but they're pear shaped. And just by opening already, you can smell the pear flavor, even from here, from me, from my face. I've already smelled the pear, and I hear that the flavor is supposed to be really accurate. Let me try it. Mmm, it really does taste like pear. It's really good. It did say on the site that these are delicious and that you should order more than one pack. And they're right. This is really good. Oh, now I'm going to have to do another order and our guide. Oh, sorry. I'm too busy chewing. I'm getting tongue tied. It's really good. Mmm. Okay, let me close this up. I'm going to the next item. Next up, I got these Mitsuya Cider flavored candies. And um, these are, well, it's Mitsuda, Mitsuya Cider is a type of Japanese soda. And these candies are, comes in like, I want to say they're hard candies. They're still hard. And they come in different flavors. Oh, okay, sorry about that. I had to kind of remember what flavor I got. And, um... Like I said, it's Mitsuya Cider, which is like a soda, Japanese soda. And the flavoring for this candy, besides the soda, is condensed milk. And yeah, I know that sounds weird. But I, love, I have like a weird palate, and I love trying out weird things. Well, not weird. It's normal for them. But um, I like to try out different flavors that we normally don't have here in America. So as you can see, here shows the candy at the bottom, a picture of it. And they're all individually wrapped, supposedly. It says Mitsuya Cider. Um, Asahi is the company name. Up top here. Here's the back. I don't know if any of you can read it. It's not like my camera's going to focus anyway. And, yeah. Let me open it. Okay. Here's what each of the individual packs look like. Small and tiny. It says Masuli Cider, you know, as we saw on the front. Back. Kind of reminds me of the shape of those little mints you get um, if you go to like a diner. Uh, here's the candy. It's kind of translucent. You can't really tell that on camera. And it is, like I said, a hard candy. It's not gummy like the pears. Mm, let me try it. Like I said, condensed milk flavor.
you could kind of taste the fizziness from like the soda and sight of the milk flavor. It's not weird. It's just different. But I kind of like it. It's really good. Hmm. Like I said, different. Unexpected. Like you got soda fizziness kind of. Not quite fizzy, but it like you have to try to know what I mean. But you can see where they get the idea of the fizzy soda and the condensed milk. Hmm. Pretty good. Mm, it's going to take me a while to get through this piece of candy, though, so I'll be back in a second to go to the next item. Okay, I'm back. I really should have saved that piece of candy for last because it really took me some time to get through it, just that one little piece. So it's great like if you're going to want like a piece of candy and just have that one, it'll last a while. But overall, it's pretty good. I mean, the flavor is different, and on the site, they have other Misuya Cider flavored candies like melon and grape. But I purposely went for the Renyu um, condensed milk flavor because that was the one more, most different from the others and different from what I can find at home. I mean, you can always find grape candy, lemon candy, melon candy here, um, but not quite condensed milk flavored candy. And it's supposed to be like Hokkaido flavored condensed milk, which is like a popular version of condensed milk in Japan, something like that. Anyway, guys, yeah. Matsuya cider candy, I really do recommend this. It was delicious for me. Like I said, different fizziness of the soda. Excuse me, I still have candy in my mouth. Fizziness of the soda and the uh, sweetness of the milk. Kind of creamy. Um, yeah, pretty good. I do, like I said, highly recommend it. Try it out. Next, I have this. Ta-da! It's a crazy... Uh, DIY Japanese candy kit and actually this is what led me to finally do the order on Napa Japan I kept seeing a bunch of these DIY Japanese candy kits on YouTube and I saw this one with about the pizza and of course I had to try it for myself now these have been out for a while uh, but for some reason only I'm just now discovering them so yeah now nah, I'm kind of behind the times but I had to get my own to try it and for those who don't know what Japanese DIY candy kits are, it's, well, let's just say, like, here's the front of the box. You see this is supposed to be pizza, and uh, comes with, like, potatoes and, like, a little thing of soda. What these kits are is that, I don't know if you can see from the instructions here, here's the back. It's, like, different packets of powder that you mix with water and mold into food shapes. And they actually do kind of have flavoring of what the item is. So this is like a meat veggie pizza. So some of the candies will kind of have like a slight veggie taste. The potatoes will have like a, well it's the candy will have like a potato flavor. The soda will have a soda flavor, things like that. But you kind of mold all the powder doughs into kind of like with Play-Doh to make your pizza, make the potatoes, to make everything for it. And you come out with these items that you, like I said, make with mixing with powder and water. I think you have to microwave some of them. And then you eat it. So it's like playing with Play-Doh and then eating your food afterwards. So yeah, like the kid side of me is like, hey, I get to play with my food. Sounds weird, but sounds fun. And yeah, of course, like I said, I see all kind of weird things. Not weird. I don't know why I keep saying weird. It's not weird, just different. Anyway, different candies from what we have here, and I'm like, hey, let me try it. I'm not a big candy eater, but I see something like this, and yeah, I gotta try it. So anyway, here's the front. Like I said, here's a company, Crazy. They have other kits online also. Um, here's this side. Shows what comes with it. Here is this top portion, well, this side. I don't know if you can see that clear. And this side, we ingredients list, but I can't read it anyway. And again, the back with the instructions. Now, I can't read the instructions, but you basically just follow the pictures and do as they say. Easy, right? Yeah. Maybe I'll do a video on this one. I don't know. I'll try to make it, see how it goes. But anyway, yeah, that's this kit. And following along with this kit, I also got... This other crazy kit, which is this bento kit. So yeah, same deal as with the pizza, is that you use these powders mixing with water, 
making up these doughs to come out with things like the spaghetti, um, this panda shaped onigiri, um, different vegetable pieces. Like I think it's supposed to be broccoli. Um, and this has a piece of like supposedly fried chicken and more onigiri. And in this little, I mean, you put it together, you can form the box to make like a little bento shape. So, you know, like the bento lunch boxes in, J in Japan. Well, yeah, now you can make your own as candy and then eat it. And again, apparently this is supposed to have some of the flavorings of what they're supposed to be. So I think that's awesome. I really have to try that. So here's a front top, bottom, again, ingredients that we can't read. Well, I can't read uh, this side. You can see other kits, like this is showing off one of the um, sushi kits, which you can't really see. But yeah, you can crazy has DIY candy sushi. And again, the back with all the directions that again, I can't read, but I will be following the pictures. Um, that's it for those. And I have one other item. Like I said, I kept my, this, I was trying out the store. So I kept the order small. But finally, I have, ta-da, these Doritos. Mmm, yum, Doritos. We all love Doritos, right? Japanese Doritos. It says style one on top. This bag is different. Um, the packaging is different from what I'm used to for Doritos at home. And it's smaller than I'm used to of bags of Doritos, especially for what the price was online. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of high, but, you know, like I said, I shouldn't be surprised. Um... Japanese food items don't come in all the big gulp sizes that we're so used to here in America. Um, they're smaller packages, and then with the price, you know, things in Japan are kind of expensive sometimes. Um, so I'm not too mad about that, but I just saw this and I had to try it. Really had to try it. Why? Because these look like regular Doritos, kind of. They look slightly more yellow, but they're not. This is the butter and soy sauce flavor. That's right, butter and soy sauce flavor. Yeah, right then and there I saw it, I'm like, hey, have to try it, have to try it. It's just the way I am, have to try weird flavors. I haven't had Doritos in months, but I saw these, had to try it. So again, front of the box, I mean, box, bag. You see the Japanese writing, but you do recognize Doritos on the front. And here's the back. More writing that I can't read. Let me see. Uh, yeah. Can't read. This is the Japanese version of the for Frito Lay, but yeah, I don't recognize the symbols on here. So, yeah. but yeah, butter and soy sauce. So, let me just... I do still have that cider candy flavor in my mouth and I can't get this bag open so I don't know how well this taste test is gonna go ah, got it all right here it is uh, this Dorito even looks smaller than what I'm used to right I don't know I wish I had a regular bag of Doritos to kind of compare uh but again it's been many months since I've had Doritos, but you know, I had to try this one. So smaller Dorito, butter and soy sauce. Here we go. Um, uh, yeah, that's an interesting flavor. Yeah. Apparently, butter and soy sauce is like a popular flavor in Japan. So, yeah, very interesting flavor. Uh, yeah. I, th yeah. It takes some getting used to. It's kind of like a sweet, salty flavor. But not as good as like how it sound. Not like sweet and sour. No, it's like a sweeter soy sauce flavor with a, like a slight butter aftertaste. It's 
hard to describe, really hard to describe unless you try it. It's okay, and the more I eat it, the more I'm getting used to the flavor, and it's not so bad. But I don't know if I can recommend it to people because it is such an interesting, weird flavor. They're not used to butter and soy sauce. Yeah. Huh. But I'm getting used to it enough that I can finish this small bag later on. So it won't be too bad and I didn't waste any money. But it was worth the experience. Now I can honestly say I had butter and soy sauce flavored Doritos. <laughs> awesome, right? Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Oh, and just wanted to say, like I said, overall I do recommend Napa Japan. I mean, those if you want to try Japanese candies, Japanese snacks, there are tons of other flavors online that I've just been wanting to try. The store is okay. I mean, it, it took a little less than two weeks for the package to get here. The shipping is, mm, if you're used to things being shipped from Japan, you kind of expect what the shipping price is going to be. And it's all based on weight. Uh... But yeah, it was it's worth trying. It's not something I will order from them like every month, like I order from Ami Ami. But if I see some things that catch my eye, I kind of do want more of those pear gummies. Then yeah, I'll definitely order from them again. Um, like I said, the prices are kind of on the well, kind of cheap for some things, kind of high for others. But again, they're Japanese prices. If you're used to what items cost in Japan, you kind of expect certain prices on things. And again, size wise. This is nowhere near what a bag of the same comparable price would be for if we bought Doritos in a store. But again, it's imported and it's a different flavor. And there's some other weird Dorito flavors online. Japan, like with their anime and other shows, uh, they come out with different flavors every season. So there's always something new to try for them. And so I definitely will be trying Napa Japan again. And I may just do those videos on the DIY kits if I can get them to come out right. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. Here's another chip. Bye.